Hello and welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I thought I would take you along as I get my kitchen ready for the month of February. We've started a new series on our channel where we do month by month decorating so that I can share some of the tips and tricks that I use seasonally in my own home. So I'm a designer based out of Atlanta, but obviously today we're at my own house and I wanted to share with you how I'm utilizing some of these tips to be able to get the space into order because I don't know about you, but in January, I tend to do a lot of organizing inside the cabinets, but then I still have a hodgepodge of Christmas things out. There's a bunch of the coffee makers that are still out and I'm gonna give you a full tour. I just need to create a little less chaos in the kitchen and I'm also gonna be styling it up for the new month. So I hope that sounds like fun to you. I hope that you will hit subscribe. We just hit a quarter of a million subscribers, which pretty much blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to every single one of you who has hit subscribe and has become a part of our House of Valentina community. And I hope if you haven't, that you will go ahead and hit subscribe. Definitely everybody give the video a big thumbs up if you love styling videos and getting some really great decorating tips out of these. And um, yeah, let us know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite. And if there's one, if there's something that you do in February, because I think we're a little bit strange because I don't decorate for Valentine's Day. And I think in a way that makes me maybe a little bit weird, but I'm gonna show you what I do in February that makes the house just feel ready for a new season, but yeah, isn't like hearts and stuff. So, all right, let's get started. <laughs> So you might be wondering, you might be wondering why it is that I am starting here instead of actually in the kitchen. And my first thing that I always do when I'm getting ready to restyle a space is that I really like to stand back from it and really survey the entire space. It really helps me to just really take a step back and just really look and everything that's going on. Because I think a lot of times if you're too close up to what you're doing, you just kind of get tunnel vision and you can't see the overall, the overall room, the overall space that you're really kind of working with. So that's why we started back here. So we're gonna back ourselves up from the space and we're just gonna work with what we have and to create something that just feels like it's ready for a new month. So yes, we're gonna, let's, let's go on into the kitchen now. I've, I've had a good view, what do you guys think? I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Klarna. Klarna has sponsored this portion of the video. Klarna is a free to install Google extension, which is really gonna help you out because it's going to give you a ton of free coupons and cashback options. Klarna has partnered with over 250,000 merchants to make the entire experience seamless for you. You'll never have to overpay again, and the best part is that Klarna does all the work. They will give you the coupons and the cashback options when you go to check out so you don't have to do anything. It's just there once you've downloaded the Google extension. You can also use Klarna's free extension to buy now and pay later. And I personally think that that's really amazing because a lot of times it can be really expensive if you're buying furnishings and bigger items, especially for your home. You can pay in four interest-free payments. You can also pay in 30 days. They even offer monthly financing. Klarna also has a free app, which is really great because you can download it and you'll be able to check your account. You can make payments on it. So I love saving money and I think that a lot of you guys will as well. I've got the link down in the description so you can click the link down in the description or you can go to klarna.com backslash house of Valentina. Thank you again to Klarna for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's go finish styling up the kitchen, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is that I need to get everything out of the space that just straight up doesn't belong. Because a lot of times I've found that when you're trying to reset a space and you're trying to get it ready for a new season, a lot of times what's happened over, over days and weeks is that you just start accumulating stuff in a space that just doesn't belong there. I'm sure you guys know what that's like keys get set down somewhere, or maybe the shoes get put somewhere, you'll end up with random things like Perrier sitting out on the counter and a box cutter for opening packages. I don't need to have these things sitting out in my space. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove these sorts of things. I'm gonna take these out. 
Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to completely clear the space. And I don't always do that every single month, but this month in particular, this room really was, it's really kind of set for the holidays and I don't bake as much now as I do during the holidays. So I don't know whether I'm going to bring the machine and leave it sitting out all the time or if I'm going to put it away. But the one thing that I do use year round and no matter how many times I try to move it, it comes right back in here and that is the coffee maker. <laughs> this is literally, it's literally my, my, the epicenter of happiness for me. I mean, not really, because obviously my family is the actual epicenter of my happiness, but you guys know what I mean. It's something that I use every single day and I have always had it sitting here and I switched it out because of course, um, look at this, it's beautiful. The KitchenAid is gorgeous and I love the colorway, but I really use my coffee maker. So I think I'm going to put the coffee maker back in, but I can't decide. I could put the coffee maker over there. That's why I need to empty the space so I can see it more clearly. So next up, I'm going to clear things out and I'm gonna give myself a fresh start. This is gonna take a minute. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Can I just stop for just a second? Did, did my family really think I wasn't gonna notice? <laughs> if you've watched my channel for very long, you've probably seen the video I did about tiny decorating mistakes that cost nothing to fix, uh-huh. Take the stickers off the produce. <laughs> Look how much prettier that looks without these stickers. I just got in that new picture. Isn't that just so cute? Yeah, I love that. I got that in new and I got a whole bunch of new cookbooks. These, you might remember these from the organizational videos that we did. Yeah, found these on Amazon. But you know, they don't necessarily have to sit out. So yeah, keep cleaning. <laughs> All the cheese boards from the holidays have definitely been getting a lot of use. So I think these are definitely things that are gonna come back in. So I'm just stacking them so I can put them where I think they're gonna come back in. And then items that I don't think will be coming back in at all, I will put in a separate spot. So I'm just kind of piling over here. <laughs> Maybe I should make a coffee before I take the machine out. Decorate first, then coffee. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's okay. We'll use you again. <laughs> the other thing that I'm doing that I wanted to make sure I showed you, which would be another tip that I would definitely make sure to do is that I am cleaning as I go because I hate cleaning. I don't ever be, some people love cleaning. I'm just not one of them. So I know that if I clean as I go, it will be less painful. And then when it's time to bring everything back in, it'll all be perfect. So little things like this, they have the little tray that needs to be emptied, it needs to be clean. So I'm cleaning as I go and as I empty, that way when everything comes back in, it's ready to just move right back in and I can style it up really fast. The next big things that I really want to focus on is getting all of the greenery out of the space that doesn't feel like it's in the right season. So I have, <laughs> <laughs> this is actually what kind of happens around my house. We trimmed a little bit off of our fig tree and you can actually put that down into water and it will start to root. The problem is, is that my husband just stuck it in with the camellia bush that was just randomly sticking here. And you can, can you hear how that's, this is ready to go. <laughs> it's ready for it to go somewhere else. So I need to get some of the dead greenery out and then something like this can go somewhere in a vase and I need to probably just relocate this little guy. He may come back in, but I've also done something else. My husband actually recently just bought me some really beautiful flowers and I just stuck them in a vase and I've done nothing else with them. So I am gonna take these out for now, but you're gonna see a lot of this stuff start to come back in in just a minute. But I need to get all the not, I need to get all the dead greenery out and start bringing back some of the seasonal stuff that will make this space feel like it's transitioning into a new time period, into a new month, into a new season. 
So all this greenery back here that's really, it just feels, I'm just over it. I'm just over it. I know that I left a lot of that for the month of January, but for February, I'm ready to move on. I just, I need something that feels like I'm moving towards spring. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up the mess that I've now made and keep going. <laughs> I've got a whole slew of amazing, amazing cookbooks, but I'm definitely going to take all of these out and try to choose the ones that I'm going to be using over just the next couple weeks. And that's probably all I'm going to leave out and the rest I'm going to put away because sometimes I think it's easier when you're going through your space for a new season to just choose what you need for the next few weeks instead of thinking that this is a forever thing, especially in the kitchen because I really feel like our eating habits kind of adjust over the seasons. And so stuff like this, some of it can go. I may not need all the cheese boards because we're not entertaining like we were at the holidays. So that's kind of what I'm thinking as I go through the space. And I'm thinking through just not what's going away forever, but just what are things that need to go away for a little while and then sorting through what needs to come back just for now. So yeah, take all these out it already feels better. Like I already feel like, I feel like my energy coming back. I'm like, oh, okay, feels so much better. Sometimes I think you just need a good cleanup, don't you? <laughs> just to make everything feel like it's been reset. I love this, so I'm gonna keep going. One of the things is that I, I was definitely feeling the mood of needing to switch things over in the kitchen, so I went out and bought some beautiful thyme so I need to find a pot for this, and I am definitely going to be getting rid of the evergreen that's sitting here because I think I've just, I'm tired of it. At least I think so. We'll see when it comes back in. But I thought those, these, they smell so good. And sometimes I think just adding a fresh herb into your kitchen will just, oh, will just immediately change the way that your space just feels because it just smells really good. So definitely think about adding some fresh herbs in your kitchen. Can I just show you also one of the things that just arrived? I've got random stuff sitting here. These are things that literally just came in and I ordered off of Etsy this beautiful little bowl because one of my goals for February and for the upcoming season is that I really wanted to get back to cooking. So I really want to reset the kitchen in a way that will definitely entice me to want to cook. So some of the things that I've ordered are some beautiful bowls so that I can really start to display the food in a really beautiful way on the table. And so I got that and then I also got this little bowl set. I got the bowls and I got the plates from West Elm. And unfortunately, these, they just don't, they don't have them in stock right now. So I don't know if they're gonna be coming back into stock, but they do come in other colors. And I got another set that's super, super similar from Amazon. So I will link to all these things for you. I think that it's really important when you're resetting a space for a new season to really think through your personal goals and what you really want out of the space so that the space works for your life rather than the other way around. If you're battling with your space, you're never gonna meet those goals. So for me, I wanna make sure that I'm making this conducive to lots of really fresh salads, maybe some homemade bread on the weekend. And so that's why I'm thinking I really need to bring the mixer back in. I wanna make sure the cutting boards are here. I wanna make sure that I have a space for fresh herbs. I wanna bring that, you know, the little um, pestle back in because I'm thinking through, the goal is to make being healthy easy. And so I'm gonna set it in that sort of way. So yeah, I know I'm just getting all these words of wisdom today. <laughs> okay, so yeah, keep on going. Now it's time for when the real magic happens and that is putting everything back in. I'm telling you, I feel reborn from just simply emptying out this space. There are definitely some things that are staying in this space, just as they would if you were using these tips for maybe your bedroom or your living room. In those spaces, you might think about maybe having a different floor plan or a different layout in your space. But for me, in the kitchen, I'm definitely gonna need to stick with what I've got. I've 
definitely enjoyed having my big art piece up here. It's something that I just wasn't sure when I took down the shelving that was there before if I was gonna love. And sometimes I think about having really big shelves, but I just really love having that big art piece there. So I'm going to leave that. And then I'm gonna start bringing in the things that I know for sure that I really wanna have back in this space. And then I'm gonna kind of work from there. So yeah, let me go grab the mixer. Every time I think about not bringing the mixer back, I'm like, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're gonna to wanna to use that all the time. So I'm gonna let definitely have that sitting out and then we'll see what else comes back. Before I bring anything else in here, the thing that I really, really need for February is this infusion of something really, really fresh. So I've decided that before I bring anything else in, I'm going to bring in this greenery, this the fresh thyme, which is just, oh, it's just so fragrant and it smells so good. I did bring quite a few of these back with me from Denmark and I love the kind of rusticness that these have. I think that actually this small one is just perfect for these herbs. So I'm gonna plant these in here in the sink so I don't make any more of a mess than I already have. I wish that there was smell -o vision <laughs> I would just send that through for you. It's amazing. I've got my beautiful salt and pepper shakers. These are from a company that's based out of Denmark as well. And I just love how graphic and cool they are and how they kind of balance out the rusticness of the little planter. Next up, I have the gorgeous handmade cutting board, which I use as a cutting board and as a display for cheeses and different hors d'oeuvres and things like that. So that definitely needs to stay. I am having the hardest time trying to decide which cookbooks to bring back in because there are so many good ones, but I'm going to show you a couple that I think are gonna make the cut. First of all, First Mess Cookbook is loaded with incredible, just vegetable, plant-based recipes. You would swear that you are, it, it is fine dining, truly. And I love this cookbook. I've also brought back Staub because I've been doing a ton of cooking out of this cookbook and I love it. It's really, these are really great weekend recipes like macaroni and cheese and I've made the, what did I make out of it? I made the grilled cheese and I made the risotto out of this and it was insane. So I like to balance how we eat in our home and so you can see even in my choices what I'm bringing in. The Nordic Family Kitchen is one of my absolute favorite books and all of the cooking is very light and very healthy and there's just so many great simple recipes in here. Even just the, the pizza with potato, mascarpone and, and basil, crispy chickpeas with pickled onions and sweet Sicily, flatbread toasties. There's a bunch of different great stuff in here. And then the Nordic baking book is my favorite because when we are home on the weekends, especially, I really want to focus on really being in the kitchen, making fresh bread and different items. So I'm also missing my French cookbook. So I need to figure out where that one went. And otherwise, yeah, I'm just gonna keep a selection of cookbooks that serve the purpose that I really want, but they also need to uh, look fabulous while sitting on my counter. <laughs> Okay, so now I brought in my marble slabs, which weighed a whole bunch, and I love them because they're perfect. What I'm even just serving, I call them snacks, but they really are hors d'oeuvres for the kids because sometimes they come home from school and it's about five o'clock and they are utterly starving. And I'm trying to hold them off from eating a massive amount of food right before dinner. So I like to have those because I'll put a little bit of cheese and nuts and just grab a couple little things and just stick them on there and the kids can nibble just a little bit and it will keep them from being utterly stuffed right before we actually go to have a big meal as a family. So I've got those out there and then I also have this really cool, I love the texture on this little uh, candle holder. This is actually salt. Oh, it smells really, really good. It smells it smells really light and I like to have something like that in the kitchen because not only does the vessel itself look really good, but it also just makes it feel really light and airy and kind of cleans the air. It really just gives it a clean smell in here, which is nice because you know, when you're cooking some things, they don't always smell very good afterwards, like bacon. <laughs> so I'm gonna light this up and uh, yeah, 
just get the kitchen smelling really good. And I definitely change out my candles for the seasons. That's one of the things that I really, really focus on. Every single month I'm thinking through how do I want the space to smell. And so yeah, I probably will just have that one going in here and it just makes it smell really, really yummy. Okay, now we've got the rest of the space to go. Let's keep moving. I just have to be perfectly honest with you. I had to turn the camera off. I felt like what I was creating felt too corporate, too safe, too done. And I felt like I wasn't really stretching myself in my creativity. I feel like lately I've just been learning so much and seeing things that I wanted to try. And I found myself as I was trying to show you, I was as I was putting everything into the space, that I just, I couldn't create. And that's something that I've always struggled with. I have a really hard time talking when I am being in a creative mode. Maybe that's something that is important, that is a tip that you can take away, is that sometimes just this sort of moment in your space is actually really important when you're creating. So I have created something actually quite different, I think, than where I thought this was gonna go. I just released myself to bringing in items that were maybe a little bit unexpected. I brought in a little Matisse print and just have it leaning with the beautiful sculptural water heater that is for my husband's coffee. I brought in this sculptural, just very rustic concrete garden sphere <laughs> that I bought at the garden store. I've got the candle going and the time is still here, but I just kind of cleared out actually some space. Um, I've really, realized the longer that I do this, the more that I really just love that sort of minimal Scandinavian aesthetic. And sometimes I feel like, oh, well, I don't have a lot in the space. There isn't a lot going on in the room. So I feel like maybe I need to put more stuff in and then I end up feeling like it's just, it's too crowded and it's too much. And for me personally, I'd rather just put it away and grab it when I need it than to have it all just displayed. That's just my personal preference. And that's something that you really have to think about as you put your space together, as think about what you really love and what feels the most at home for you. For me, having areas where I just feel like there's space to move around and I've even given it a little lifestyle moment with this little towel. I actually, these are actually napkins from Pottery Barn and that gorgeous handmade bowl. I've got that sitting out I brought the salt and pepper shakers, they're still here. I actually brought this really beautiful sculptural candle in here. I love this candle holder. It's from a Scandinavian brand called Hay, and they are actually sold in the US, and I will leave a link for where you can get this. Probably turn on my little lights in here. The only thing that I didn't get in here yet that I know I will still be thinking about was maybe having a little lamp in here. I did have the marble lamp in here before and I feel like I kind of miss it and it was something that my husband really, really liked. So that's one thing I'll definitely be thinking about. And you know, you might set your room the first time and then after a few hours, after you really kind of look at it, you might find yourself moving things around just a little bit. I did actually bring the camellia branches back in. Once I took them out, I realized that only one of the branches was actually dead and had no growth on it but these actually still have all their leaves and uh, that I'm hoping maybe they'll root. I have these gorgeous sculptural pieces. These are actually handmade. I have such a love affair with handmade ceramics. I think that they just bring something so organic and tactile into a space. So I've paired that with the avocado and the pestle. It's just everyday items and then I've got this little box, which I am going to put some teas in in just a minute, because I've really been into tea lately, and I thought it'd be really nice to have this beautiful little box. This is also from that Danish brand, Hay, and I just felt like it just sort of elevated the space. I did not put the coffee machine back into the kitchen, but I definitely have it in the little bar that I have over here. So I'm gonna try that again, because that's where I originally had it, and then for some reason my husband had moved it into the kitchen. But I just feel like I just gave myself a brand new kitchen. And that's what I love so much, is that just with some simple styling hacks, 
you can cr create just a, something completely different and you can literally feel completely new. But I'm learning as I go about what really matters to me and what makes my space feel connected with what I really need. And I think that's pretty amazing. So I hope that this has been really helpful for you. Um, this was definitely a different mode of filming for me. So please tell me down in the comments that you love it and um, let me know what you think. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun and I feel refreshed. And I think that's what's so important, especially in the month of February. It's when I just feel like it's like winter is over. Like we're just like over winter in general, especially up here. You know, I know some of you are down below and you are experiencing a different season, but for us up here that we're just tired of winter. And uh, I just think we're just, we're not quite to spring yet. And it's just sort of this like, oh, it's just sort of this dreary time. And these kinds of things can really revive your space, but they think they also revive your soul. And I think that that's why for me, I just think this is so important. And I highly recommend to you that you do this in your own kitchen and use these little tips and tricks take it to your bedroom and other spaces of your house and just start giving it that pre-spring refresh. And I think that it will just revive your soul. It has mine. So I hope you'll hit subscribe. I hope you'll give the video a big thumbs up. Let us know down in the comments if you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go make myself a coffee in the, the new coffee location and uh, yeah, get back to work. So thank you guys again for coming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Now